Hey, what's going on, everybody? DroidLife.com here. I uh, want to show you today the 2.1 launcher that was just released for Android 2.0.1. We uh, put an instructional post up on it just the other day in case you want to install this thing. And today we just want to show some people actually how it works. You know, I know a lot of people have had some questions on it. So let's go ahead and just show you. Um, basically, it changes this button right down here. That's the biggest thing. Um, changes that. It used to be, you know, that drawer used to slide up. Well, now it's just a button that you just press. And you can see the animation there's a little bit different and there's also a home button. So if you press it rather than sliding back down like you used to do, now you just press this home button and it takes you right back to your thing. And then probably the most important thing on the launcher is the fact that you now have five screens. See, so I went over twice there. I'm going to go over twice this way. I don't have anything on that one yet. I'm still trying to fill it up. But as you can see, there's five screens now. Huge plus. Um, another thing you can do down here, if you hold down um, in what used to be your, tr your drawer bar, it'll give you little icons of all five. And then you can just choose directly to one. See, so I can hold that down and go straight over there. So that's a pretty cool option. Um, the other thing you can do is just tap those buttons, and it'll take you to the next screen. There's these little dots down there, and they'll let you do that. And then the other thing that we want to show you is when you're in the drawer and you're sliding, it actually is more of a drawer now. There's actually, it looks like an infinity um, ledge up there of all your of all your applications sliding up both up and down. You can just keep scrolling up and down. It gives you one page at a time or you can fast flick it and it'll also give you a bunch going. And then you can hit home to go through it. Um, <clears throat> a few issues people have noticed, um, actually one that I noticed is if it ever locks up on you, it actually turns your phone all the way off. So you have to turn your phone back on. That's kind of crappy. Um, I know a lot of people don't are, are a little scared of it because they've heard it's not all that stable, but I'm just here to show you that it is pretty stable. You can see I can flip through these pretty fast. Um, that's about as fast as you can go, and it's not really crashing. You can see that I'm hitting all these buttons as fast as I can. It's not really crashing. So it's happened to me three times, I think. Um, and a lot of people are also worried about it slowing your phone down. And as you can see, I'm doing as much stuff as I can right now, and it's not crashing. Let's open an application. Let's go back home. Oh, there you can see I got hung up just a little bit there. Go into text messaging. Let's go back home. Let's go into layer. Oh, shouldn't have done layer. That'll take forever. And actually, let me get right out of this. So you can see it's still pretty fast. A lot of people said that your phone might slow down a little bit, but you can see everything's still working pretty good for me. So anyway, that is the new launcher 2.1 that is available on Android 2.0.1. And you can get the instructions and the file and everything right on our site, which is droid-life.com. And we're out. Peace.